Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our second dealership of the day. And for those of you that watch my videos a lot and you watch my dealership walks, you know that when we come to this dealership, this is my home dealership, we'll call it, in my town, Gateway Toyota. And I want to show you all these Tundras, and not just the Tundras, but beyond the Tundras, you will see many, many vehicles. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, when is the last time we've seen this area filled up with cars and trucks? It has been a long time. I guess the production woes are over. And ladies and gentlemen, we have quite a few Tundras. There's some 2023s. There's a few I want to focus on, 2024s. But overall, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's another one up there, 11. 12, 13, 14 Tundras, 15 Tundras. So that is a nice little lineup of Tundras. There's a few with the three inch lift here. And I want to focus on that because we're going to put some rumors to rest. I've been getting a lot of comments on exactly what this is and exactly what that one at the end is. But we will start down here. We're not going to go through all of them because we went through uh, most of these, but there are certain ones we haven't looked at yet. For instance, this is a Platinum. It is a 2024. It is Blueprint. It is iForce Max, which means it is gorgeous and I want it. Absolutely beautiful. 4x4, four four, of course. This isn't the TRD Off-Road Package, although the TRD Off-Road Package is now available for Platinum in 2024. Premium auto leveling LED headlights, dark chrome grille, dark chrome surround, dark chrome wheels, dark chrome accenting, Platinum down on the bottom of the door. Let's look at price on our way by. There's not a lot going on here. This thing has standard everything. Got that 10-inch heads-up display, which has always been there on these high trim tundras, but now it's a standalone option. 73522. You also have the power running boards and power bed step. They want 77092. So we're still seeing markups locally. Depends where you go. But overall, the truck, that's a gorgeous one. Obviously, I'll show you the inside. You get the black, genuine leather interior, heated, ventilated memory, pano roof, JBL sound system, power folding mirrors. All of that is just standard. Standard operating procedure on this thing. Gorgeous. Haven't walked that yet. Rarely do I see, if ever, a blueprint platinum in iForce Max. So that is exciting for me as a Tundra lover. Before we do the two lifted ones, because once again, there's something I want to focus on there. We've already walked this guy here. That's that blueprint 1794. That's still there. That is a 2024. This poor thing is still here. White TRD Pro 2023, red interior. Someone needs to come buy this. This truck has been here for quite a long time. So if you want to see the sticker, let's go around and see the sticker real quick in case you haven't. Real quick, <clears throat> there is a markup, it looks like. 78308 off of 74738. So there is a markup. I don't know if they'll get rid of that markup. This truck has been here for at least a month and a half. So maybe. I don't know if I've seen this Smoke Mesquite 1794. And it is a regular I-Force. Looks like it. Smoke Mesquite, once again. Went from never seeing it to seeing it every single week. Let's see what we got here. So this is 2024 Smoke Mesquite, regular 1794, regular I-Force, no TRD. 70,177, 73,747. Here's a shot of that big old chrome grill up front. Nice looking truck. And just as we're walking by, I think we should take a look at this one. So it's a Pro Tacoma. 53490, beautiful truck. I like the Pro Tacoma. You know why I like the Pro Tacoma? It's the little things, right? It's crazy when you sit them next to the Tundra how different they look as far as size. But I love the stamp in the side. TRD Pro. I didn't check if it was manual or not because you can get manual or automatic. So it's an automatic. I think it has a moonroof up there. I think the moonroof is standard on Tacoma TRD Pro but that is a beautiful truck if you like the smaller thing and that's a good comparison 
As a Tundra channel, it is very important for me to show you the difference between Tacoma and Tundra because a lot of people, when they're buying a truck, have to figure out if they want to go with the midsize or full size. So that's a nice little comparison right there. Just after walking Tundras all morning and then seeing a Tacoma, the Tacoma looks insanely small. Like even up front, if we look at the grills and the front ends of the truck, look at the difference. Just insane. But now I want to show you two three inch lift Tundras and I want to squash a rumor. Now, in the beginning, when they first came out with a three inch lift as a factory option this year, we went on and it looked like you could only get the three inch lift limited and up. Because if you go on the build and price tool and you start going through it, the th at the very end of all of those options and packages, it was the three inch lift with options was the name of the package. Well, down in SR5, there wasn't that. That didn't exist. So people thought, can't get it on SR5. Well, thankfully, you can. You just have to go all the way to the end of the packages, and it's not called the three-inch lift package with options. It's in the higher TRD off-road package with options. You just have to look at the breakdown, and you will see three-inch lift. So to end the rumors, you can, yes, ladies and gentlemen, can get the three inch lift on an SR5 from the factory. And here's a beautiful option, SR5, Celestial Silver Metallic, TRD, off-road. It's got the upgraded 20 inch wheels. That would be one thing that I would like to see. What would it look like with the 18 inch wheel that comes on SR5 and this package, but it has the three inch lift on it. It has the big screen on the inside. It has the soft text, as you can see. It has a little bit of everything. It is not ugly. It has the LED bed lights. It has the outlet over here. But what people don't like is this tire selection with the suspension. And that is the one thing everybody talks about. And I guess you'll just have to buy a tire or when you buy the truck, you got to have them put a better tire on. And I know it has to do with MPG. That's one thing that we talked about as we've talked about seeing these trucks every week because this is like week three in a row we've seen this truck with a three inch lift package on it look at all the stuff that comes on this truck advanced off-road technology package premium audio package the three inch lift pvm bsm trd off-road premium package heated leather steering wheel the 20 inch wheel all weather floor liners 67054 they want 7624 so, and that is the reason why I always like to show you that. I would buy this thing, honestly. I'm very, very interested in this truck. I love Celestial Silver. I love the look of the lift on the SR5. Again, it just needs that bigger tire. And once again, we've come to the conclusion together as a team, it's because of MPG. All the ratings these auto manufacturers have to hold for like the government stuff and the EPA ratings and the MPG ratings, it kind of hamstrings them with the stuff they can do. Hence, no more V8. Hence, no fun big tire that comes with this package. I'm sure if Toyota could and there was no regulations and rules they had to follow when it comes to MPG, this thing right here would have a big BFG KO2 or something fun on it. But tell me that is not a beautiful truck. It looks so good. I love it. I'm kind of stupid, so that'd be fun in my driveway, huh? All right, so let's just, as we go by them, again, we walked a lot of these. And when we do our next walk, I will go through each one. But if you look back on the last few videos here, we have walked all the 2023s. You got a TRD Sport. You got a nice black platinum here. You've got yourself a 1794 with the TRD off-road. Definitely walked that one. I remember that. Regular SR5. Another platinum. iForce Max. This one might be new as well because I don't remember seeing a Platinum with the iForce Max. Magnetic gray. Gorgeous. Check the sticker, see what it says. 2024, yeah, we've never walked this one. Basic stuff on it. A 10-inch color heads-up display. Once again, has always been there, but now it's a factory standalone option. It is a standalone option for 2024. 72773. Bed lights. And the outlet comes standard on Platinum. Platinum, 1794, TRD off-road, capstone, standard LED bed lights and the outlet. SR5 and Limited is where you got to make sure 
it's included because it's part of packages, optional packages. Another beautiful Celestial Silver. Gateway knows how to pick them because Celestial Silver just looks absolutely perfect on the TRD off-road. And as we talked about, when you go TRD off-road on SR5, it chromes the surround and chromes the rear bumper. But with Celestial Silver, that kind of works well with the chrome and it has the big lift. Now, it has side steps. That's the big difference in look from that truck to this truck is this one has side steps. I love the look of these Tundras when they don't have side steps. I think that's the reason that one caught my attention so much. But a nice thing you can do here is see how much the lift really makes a difference in the height with the regular Tundra sitting next to it. And that is a TRD Sport. So that's actually even lower, right? Let's do this way because the TRD Sport has an inch drop in the front. So there is your difference. Both of them have 20 inch wheel and tire packages on them. Just a little bit taller, three inches taller to be exact, right? But it just gives it a nice leveled stance. And with the right tire, this thing will look perfect. Ah, let's go, getting in here, seeing the price. Once again, this thing is loaded up with good options. It's crazy when you stand next to the truck and actually, you know, you're used to looking at it down here, but everything looks a little bit taller. I like it. Advanced off-road technology package, premium audio package, three inch lift, PVM BSM, TRD off-road premium package, the off-road wheel 20 inch from limited 1794 and platinum TRD off-road. A lot of stuff on here, 69021. They want 72591. What a truck, huh? I don't know why, but you know, these things are parked pretty tight together versus some of the other three inch lift ones we see, by the way, spray on bed liner. Uh, the other ones we've seen have been kind of wide open at the last two dealerships. We saw Turnersville had that gigantic lunar one, crew max with the six and a half foot bed in the lift. And then last week we were at Holman Toyota and they had the trucks kind of sitting where you could walk up to them and look at them. But if this was the first time I was seeing the three inch lift, I would say it doesn't even look too bad with the tire option on there. Uh, but we know from seeing it out in the open when there isn't trucks blocking it, uh, it does need that bigger tire. But hey, listen, this three inch lift kit is compliant with Toyota Safety Sense. It comes with the warranty. So all you got to do is change the tire out and uh, you're good to go. My question to you is, before we close out this video, what tire would you put on that? What would be the perfect tire for you? I want brand. I want size. What's your thoughts? Don't forget when they came out with the three inch lift kit in 2022, the pictures of the truck they used, it was a limited, it was this wheel, but it was a 35 by 12.50 R20 tire. So that's some decent size for a tire. So you got three inch lift, SR5, TRD Sport, Platinum, 1794 with the TRD off-road package, SR5, Platinum, 3-inch lift SR5, TRD Sport, Platinum, and then at the end here, TRD Sport. If we come across the way, because there are Tundras in the front, somebody come and buy this blueprint, 1794. This needs a home today. Well, tomorrow. You can't buy any cars in New Jersey on Sunday. TRD Sport. 2023 TRD Pro. I want to see that gone by next week. With a deal. Smoke Mesquite. 1794. 2024. And that gray platinum is still up there. If you can see it from here. A beautiful lineup here from Gateway Toyota. Obsessed with this thing. Once again, no side steps. Just has a nice look to it. Love it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, at TundraDude34, TundraDude34, gmail.com. Nice Tundras. Which one's your favorite? Which one would you take home?